Hello and welcome back to my channel, Long Time No See. <laughs> Today I'm going to be reviewing Vanilla Vibes by Juliet Has a Gun. Um, let's see. The top notes, uh, the top note is sea salt. The heart is natural vanilla absolute, orchid absolute. The base notes are absolute brown musk, benzoin absolute, sandalwood, and tonka bean. Um, sea salt is very prominent in this. It's it's the first thing you smell and it just it's there the whole time and it's it's just very very strong and i think they did a really good job of capturing um this the smell of sea salt um i think it's really neat let's see vanilla yes i can definitely smell the vanilla the orchid i don't know um i don't smell anything flowery in this but at the same time i'm not like orchid you know so yeah i guess i can imagine it in there but it's not I, I can't detect it the base notes um musk it is musky um benzoin i think benzoin is like what like a resin or whatever i have no idea i can't you know it's not like when i sniff it i'm like ooh, i can really detect that benzoin um but if it's a resin even if it's not i, I can kind of see that ingredient being in there. Um, sandalwood, yes. Tonka bean, yes. Um, let's see. The perfume family, it's described as ambery, fresh, and gourmand. And I took that description off of the Juliet Has a Gun website. I didn't go to Fragrantica this time. Um, and it's also described as gour gourmand, fresh, and salty. I agree with the gourmand. I agree with the salty and the ambery. I don't agree with the fresh. For me personally, when I think of fresh, this is not the kind of smell that comes through my mind. I would replace, personally, I would replace fresh with either dark or sultry or sexy. Um, I don't know. Uh, when I smell this, fresh doesn't come to mind. Um, let's see. And then... I know that when I went online to kind of look up details for this, a lot of people had like beach imagery in the background. I didn't think of the beach at all when I smelled this. For me, the thing that immediately came to mind was like 80s sexy saxophone music and like a cabin or a retreat somewhere that has like a roaring fire. It's cozy. It's slightly cold outside. Um, or completely cold outside. I'm thinking ski cabin or, you know, just a, a cabin in the woods. You're there with your, you know, you're there with your sweetheart. You know, the two of you have a, a glass of wine. You know, you're, you're sitting on the floor on a really fluffy, expensive rug. Um, I don't know. That, that's the imagery that immediately came to mind. Um, when I smelled this, um, let's see. Overall, I liked it, but I didn't love it. It didn't, it didn't grab me. It, it wasn't like, I wasn't wowed by it. I didn't fall in love with it, but I do like it. Um, can I see myself buying it? No. Um, if I did want to like experience it again, I would just get, um, like a sample size or like a 10 milliliter size. But this isn't, this isn't something that I would want to spend um, a lot of money on, like $150. I just don't love it enough. Um, it's a very, it's a very solid like for me. Um, there's just something in here that I feel like is missing for me personally. Um, I would love though to smell this on other people. I would be so curious to see how the smell, you know, manifests on other people. Um, would I buy this as a gift for others? I would. Um, I think this is a very easy perfume to wear. I think a lot of different people can wear it and have it smell good on them. Of course, it's always going to shine more on certain people than others. I don't think it shines on me, but I think it smells, you know, nice enough. Sorry, guys, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to go a little bit quick. Um, like I said, I liked it. This isn't something that I would buy for myself, though. Um, I'm not sure what it lacks, but for me, it's just there's there's a certain quality missing. And that's not to say that it's not a good perfume. It's just my taste, personally. 
um, since I'm running out of time, you guys can read the little description here, which I kind of agree with because this is like a very sultry, kind of heavy gourmand scent. It's not, it's not overpowering, but it has presence, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know. I guess that's all I have. And I have 20 seconds left, so I'm going to leave you guys with that. Um, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.